Eugene Bullard, the first African-American pilot in World War I. Born in Columbus, Georgia of October 9th of 1894. After witnessing a lynch mob, Bullard left his hometown at the age of eight for France. Throughout his journey to France, Bullard spent many years working odd jobs before arriving in 1914 at the age of 20. Upon his arrival, he enlisted in the French Foreign Legion and quickly rose up the ranks, eventually earning the title of Corporal. For his bravery in combat, he received the Corps de Guerre during the Battle of Verdun in 1916, but was seriously wounded. While recuperating, he accepted an offer to join the French Air Force as a gunner, but obtained permission to become a pilot. After completion, he and 200 other Americans joined the Lafayette Flying Corps, where he flew combat missions from August 27 to November 11 of 1917. That year, the U.S. joined the war for the purpose of recruiting Americans serving in the Lafayette Flying Corps. Although he passed his medical exam, he was not accepted because he was black, thus forcing France to permanently ground Bullard in order to upheld the U.S. policy, and was eventually taken off all aviation duties. After the war, he discovered jazz, eventually later owning two nightclubs where he met Marcel Strauman and later had two daughters, but the marriage soon ended in divorce with Bullard taking custody of their two daughters. After Germany invaded France in 1940, the 46-year-old rejoined the French army as a spy for the French resistance. Again seriously wounded by exploding shell, he escaped and made his way to the United States with his daughters. For the rest of World War II, despite his lingering injuries, he worked as a shoreman in New York and supported the war efforts by participating in war bond drives. Spending the rest of his life in New York, but in France, he remained a hero. In 1954, he was one of the veterans chosen to light the everlasting flame at the France tomb of the unknown soldiers under the Arc de Triomphe, and in 1959, the French honored him with the Knight of Legion of Honor. On October 13, 1961, Eugene Bullard died and was buried in the Cemetery of Federation for the French War Veterans in Flushing, New York, and was later appointed second lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force. And on a side note, um, kind of was like Wesley Snipes a little bit too. <laughs>